Good afternoon, everybody. Tech out here, and today we're going to be looking at iOS 15. This is the release candidate, so the final build of iOS 15 um, before it is released to the public. And the public release, by the way, is going to be on September 20th, and the new iPhones will start arriving on September 24th. So they will have the uh, obviously ship with iOS 15. A few things here are uh, we did not get any more wallpapers. I know everybody always asks about wallpapers. Um, we did not get any new wallpapers um, that we have not seen in the beta already. Um, so this right here is the only wallpaper um, that we got in the beta, and it's currently the only wallpaper on iOS 15, which is kind of disappointing. I kind of wanted some more customization options when it comes to wallpapers, um, and we just didn't see that. A lot of people were saying we would see that when um, the final build came out. We would see more wallpapers. Not the case right now. Maybe a point two update or a point one update will bring that. Um, everything else is pretty much the same right now as it was in the last beta. Um, so if you're watching any um, any previous beta videos, it's pretty much all the same. A um, couple more bugs have been fixed. Uh, SharePlay has been removed, as you guys saw in um, one of my previous videos. SharePlay has been removed, so that is not releasing alongside iOS 15. Um, it's going to come in a point one or point two update, most likely later this fall. Um, so that kind of sucks. That was one of the main features. Um, so we still are waiting on a lot of stuff. The driver's licenses in the wallet app, um, they did announce which states would be um, supporting that from the start. Um, but again, that feature is not coming until later this fall. Probably, like I said, in a point two update. That's usually when they add that kind of stuff in. Otherwise, though, performance has been just fine. Really not having any issues there. Um, so if you're on the fence about upgrading to iOS 15 from iOS 14, I would definitely say it's a safe upgrade, um, as is with most Apple upgrades. Um, you're going to have a few bugs here and there. Um, that have not been fully worked out, but no usability issues that I've seen. Battery life has been pretty good, um, and you get all those new features and messages and stuff like that. So if your friends are going to get a new iPhone or are going to be upgrading to iOS 15, you're definitely going to want to upgrade as well um, so you can use those features together with your friends. Um, I'm not going to show you guys around right here in iOS 15, like I said, because it is mo mostly the same as the beta. This is kind of more of a just an update video to let you guys know that the release candidate is out. This is the final build of iOS 15 that we will see, see released to the public on the 20th, and that it is, is, again, a safe upgrade. I'm Colin with TechOut. If you guys have any questions about iOS 15, leave them down in the comments section below, and I'll be happy to help you guys out.